About 85 kilometers southeast of Naples, in the province of Salerno, Italy, lies Paestum, a seaside resort with beautiful sand beaches. A short distance to the north of this modern city lies the Paestum archaeological site, ruins of a major Greco-Roman city that dates to the 7th century BC. Originally known as Poseidonia, after the Greek god of the sea, this ancient town had a large public bathhouse, the ruins of which can be seen here and at least two spectacular swimming pools. Here's the great pool with the Pastium ruins. It's 50 meters long by 20 meters wide, and it goes from the shallow at the far end to a depth of about eight to 10 feet here. And what is really amazing about this is this whole area here is a labyrinth for underwater swimming in the deep end of the pool. Come around and hang up on the side of the pool. I'm standing in what's believed to be a private residence in the Pastium ruins in Pastium, Italy. And what's amazing about this pool, if it was a private house, the pool must have been owned by a swimming enthusiast because the pool measures 10 meters wide by 25 meters long and it ranges in depth from four feet to about 10 and a half feet. It was fed fresh water by the aqueducts through these ports at the shallow end and there was a large drain at the center of the deep end. It's not hard to imagine the luxury of swimming in this pool two millennia ago. But Paestum is best known for its archaeological museum and the collection of tomb paintings, with many dating to the time when Poseidonia was a Greek colony. The most famous painting in Paestum is from the Tomb of the Diver, named after the enigmatic scene depicted on the covering slab of a young man diving into a stream of water. The grave was made of five limestone slabs forming the four lateral walls and the roof, the floor being excavated in the natural rock ground. All five slabs forming the monument were painted on the interior sides using a true fresco technique. The paintings on the four walls depict a symposium scene, while the cover slab shows the famous scene that gives the tomb its name. The diving scene is thought to be symbolic of the diver's passage into the afterlife. He is shown diving from a cliff over a wall of 24 bricks representing the hours in the day, and passing through the water into the next world, as represented by the live olive tree on the left side of the painting. But you don't have to travel to Paestum to see the oldest representation of a swimmer or diver in Greek art. You can see a replica of it here in our museum, along with other priceless works of aquatic art collected from around the world.